Hey everybody, Pastor Mark here. You may be noticing it is not Wednesday. It is in fact Thursday and I missed you yesterday so I thought I'd give you a quick check-in today. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're preparing to beat the heat in the Pacific Northwest this weekend. It's gonna be a scorcher so I hope you're doing something to prepare. I found a nice shady spot and a cool breeze and we are bracing ourselves for a hot weekend. We've had a great couple stories in church the last couple weekends. If you've been able to join us in person or in the live stream, you'll have heard the story of Jesus talking about the kingdom of God like a seed or like a mustard seed. Last week we heard the story of Jesus stilling the storm with a word of peace. He said, peace be still to the storm and there was dead calm. And we wondered what are the storms in our lives that need that same word of peace? What are the storms that we're saying, peace be still to? We have incredible power as followers of Jesus Christ to continue to share that word of peace with one another and with the world around us. So I hope you've been joining me this week and saying, peace be still to the storms that pop up in our lives. This week, the story of healing continues as we hear the story of Jairus' daughter and some other healings in the story of the gospel. So I hope you join us again, either in the live stream or in person for worship. Also, we're starting to put together some more opportunities for you to uh, have some in-person events. We're looking at some uh, fun stuff over the course of the summer. Melinda has some drop-in uh, events on Tuesday afternoon scheduled. We're thinking about doing Christmas in July and that the Christmas that we missed last year. The, uh, we missed one and so we thought, well, let's catch up. So uh, in July, we're talking about doing a Christmas event. Keep an eye out for information about that and stay tuned so that you can join us for all of these opportunities, whether they be online or in person. Thanks for all you do. Thanks for staying in touch. Thanks for being a vibrant and strong community of faith. I really do appreciate all of you and I look forward to seeing you this weekend.